Hey everybody, welcome to this tool is. And today's tool is going to be the stubby impact socket. And we're going to be talking about whether or not the average DIYer really needs this tool in their toolbox. And the answer to that is pretty simple. It's, it all depends on uh, what kind of projects the individual does or is um, planning on doing. But Anyhow, we're going to be looking at the size difference, and uh, we'll take it from there. So starting off right here, we got the 3.8 stubby impact sockets, and these ones are from Astro Pneumatic. And these ones go from size 6 to 19 without skipping any sizes. And um, I ordered these from Amazon, and they came on this uh, little rail. So, you know, it's a, a good thing that they already come on the rail and everything. So that's pretty nice. And these right here, no matter what size you use, you could um, use a size 17 for for extra um, torque or or whatnot if you need to. Um, like this one is a size um, 17. And today we're going to focus on the size 15. So let's take out the size 15 on these ones. And um, let's say um, if you could put the 17 on, on top of the 15 and and uh, apply more torque on it because you could put the uh, a wrench right here on the outside. They all have a size 17 diameter on the outside where you can use a, a size 17 millimeter wrench. But anyhow, here goes the... Um, we're going to take a look at the difference between a 3.8 stubby and this is a, these are all three eights right here. So this one right here is the Husky, which appears to be the smallest one, which is um, not that much of a difference. And this is, a, this one is an Icon, I believe. Um, short socket, also 15. It's about the same size as this one. This 15 right here is an impact socket from Pittsburgh, and, and you could begin telling the difference now on, uh, as far as height. Okay, and this is, uh, again, uh, Icon, the deep socket. And now that's a big difference right there. So if you're in a tight spot, you're definitely going to wish you had this one here. And last but not least is the, the wobble or the um, flex um, socket right here, which is the, um, this one's also an Icon. So yeah, you can tell the difference there. And I mean, if you're gonna use a, a stubby, then you might wanna use a stubby wrench. So we're gonna be looking at some small wrenches right here just to see how the, the size. And this one right here is a, this one's a power torque. I got this one from O'Reilly's. So look at the, look at the um, depth right here. Let me see if I can measure that. This, sorry, but this is the only um, ruler I have uh, nearby. So that right there measures that about one and a half, an inch and a half right there of depth. And again, like the sockets, this little wrench is cool because you can also apply a, a, a wrench right here and use extra torque. This will be used kind of like a, like an extension. You know, you could put a, an, an extension on there and just use it for more flex. This is another stubby also. This one is a Titan. And this one is cool because it's pretty much the same length. So I just try to dig out the shortest, the stubby um, wrenches that, uh, wrenches that I had in my um, toolbox out here. So this one right here has a three eighths on this side and a quarter on this side. So this one can come in handy also in those circumstances where you definitely need a, a small uh, three eight ratchet. But, um, that's that. Now let's look at these ones here. These are um, half inch and these are by Capri. These ones came in this little set right here. I, I also ordered these out of um, Amazon. And um, these look a little bit different. These ones come from size 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, all the way to 24 with no skips either. 
And like I said, we're gonna be focusing on the 15. So here it is. This is the way it looks. And it's nice and stubby. Let's see how, how deep this one is. This one here is an inch and one sixteen. So let let I don't think I measured this other one, the three eighths. Let me check the three eighths real quick. The three eighths is fifteen sixteenths of an inch. So it's on not even an inch. So let's see the difference between between the astronomatic three eighths and the capri half inch. But remember, this is a half inch, so you know the diameter is gonna be bigger as far as the bottom. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and compare this to the half inch um, other sockets that I have. This one is the Icon, um, a chrome one. And this is the, is this a cobalt impact? These two are pretty much the same size. And then this is a Husky. All these are like mid, mid size i guess you can call them and this icon right here is look at the big old difference now this is an icon deep size 15 um deep well man you could stack like three of them and they still probably won't be the same height so there's that one here's the wobble size 15 icon it's almost like the top half almost Here's, uh, what's this? This one is, uh, Pittsburgh Deep Well Impact. And this one is a Husky Deep Well Impact. I think this is the tallest one. So imagine if you had to get in a tight spot, which one would you rather have? So we're going to, um, check out the difference on, uh, and uh, most of the time when you use a half inch, you're going to be using an impact wrench anyway. So let's check it out on this one. Um, I don't I don't have my um, stubby impact out here, but this is the only one I have right now. So maybe later I can show you on the stubby impact uh, mid torque that I have. But this is the big monster right here. So with the little socket, with the stubby socket, let's see. Um, we're going to measure it. The stubby one is going to be, uh, yeah, we'll measure from here. Uh, it looks like it's about nine, about nine inches. It's about nine inches, okay? But that's with the big old monster one. Let's see how, how what difference it will make with the longest though half inch one that I have which is this one what the heck Size on this is this one I had it pre-measured out, so that's 11 inches right there. So imagine 9 to 11, that's two inches difference. So if you need to get in a tight spot with a two-inch difference, I'm sure that you're gonna want to have this little one. So I say that do come in handy. And what I recommend for you to get them definitely, because when you're in that pickle and you need to have that stubby, you're gonna wish you did. Let's check out these um, 3 eighths on the stubby one. I have this uh, little rigid right here, stubby. And um, that's pretty small. That's pretty small right here. That's a, um, that's about four and a half. Four and a half, maybe a little bit more. Let's check it out on the on the Milwaukee uh, M12 Stubby. And on this one, it's about a, f 
five and three, no, five and a, f almost five and a half. So, um, yeah, they're definitely a big difference even between these two, because look at that. You can tell that the, um, as far as the head goes, the rigid is a lot smaller. And it looks like they're about a, about an inch or three quarters of an inch smaller. So yeah, it, it definitely makes a difference right there. I don't know if you guys can see the difference there. I'll give you this. But yeah, like I said, when you do need it, you'll be glad you have it. Well, this video's been long enough, but if you guys have any questions, any comments, any concerns, go ahead and uh, put it down on the comments. Uh, make sure you go ahead and um, and, and hit the like. Um, subscribe to the channel. You know I'm trying to build up the channel. So far, I think I got almost 10, 10 um, subscribers. And, um, you know, sooner or later, man, we're going to start hitting them big numbers of subscribers and we could get this channel going. Uh, and trust me, man, it's going to be a lot of fun once that happens. But in the meantime, man, you keep doing what you do. People, don't ever let nobody say you can't do anything. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.